Oh, welcome back to the video. Okay, it's for this guy, and this is Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. Um, I decided not to get this guy, so I was a bit surprised when he turned up, and I remembered I actually bought him whilst I was drunk. Well, I pre-ordered him many months ago, and I'm kind of happy because I, I haven't got an Ultra Magnus in my set. I had him as a kid, the G1 version, um, and yeah, I I'm kind of glad he turned up. And I'll be honest, he is a lot of fun. He does have a few annoying issues, but overall, I, I, he's really impressed me. Um, there are, say, we'll get the issues out of the way first of all. Uh, for a start off, his shoulders are a bit weird. You can do the full range of motion that way, but if you actually want to move them out, that's where the joint is there. Now, you can potentially push his arm a little bit further to make it look a little bit less weird, but it still doesn't quite look too right. But it's a very minor thing, because it doesn't look too bad. Um, his feet, depending on where you place the actual foot, uh, I tend to have mine a little bit further out so it actually looks like a foot, but if you do that, he sometimes doesn't quite have the weight distribution sorted, so he, he can topple over occasionally. Not too much though, he does actually handle his weight quite well, it's just, you need to be, if you want to have um, some poses where he's more back heavy, you will have to move his feet back a little bit so he can take some more of the weight. Uh, but that's just a small minor thing. Um, one thing I will say, he is a very nice kind of light metallic blue. Now, what's the the most annoying thing for me so far with the Combiner Wars series is that every single release they do, that the, the photos, they look a really nice metallic colour. Then you get them in hand, and they just don't. This guy does look okay. I mean, certainly his arms and his shoulders do have a metallic look to them. His hands open like that, but to actually get him to hold the weapons is an art form in itself. There's no actual pegs at all in there to hold them in place. So if you want to hold the gun like that, he can do, um, but it's not a very solid grip. So it's it's not the. I mean, he can hold it. It, say it, it he can. It, it doesn't fall out too easily, but it's not the most sternest of grips in the world. Uh, so. There is that. Also, I need to mention if he's if this comes out as like, like kind of a dark um, metallic blue, it's it's not. It is a more uh, turquoise kind of color. Turquoise, turquoise, one of them. The chest area is very nice. In actual fact, his chest area does come down, and this bit does open. Uh, it's mainly for transformation to put his head in there, but also you can sit. He comes with an accessory. Uh, he comes with this guy, and uh, this guy, it's a little, <laughs> he's a little tiny, just get his legs popped out, like that. Uh, the only thing I'll say about him is, to get this bit transformed, you have to push it, push it down, it is a bit of a pain in the backside, but there we go, and he's a very nice little figure. I don't know, I actually haven't read um, too much of who this guy is. On the back of the box, which unfortunately I've put in storage now, um, it does mention that he resurrected Ultra Magnus. But, uh, yeah, he's a very dinky little thing. I'm quite impressed. He has the, a, a nice range of motion as well, so he gave him some really nice poses. But he apparently can sit inside there, and his arm can come off. Right. <laughs> now, I haven't actually tried to do it yet, but it looks like he just sits... Because there is what looks to be a chair inside there. So it looks like he can actually just sit... On the chair, like so, and then close up, put down the head, and there we go. It's a very nice little feature. Uh, <laughs> it just adds to everything. So yeah, really, it's a nice little feature to have. Uh, the head sculpt's really quite nice. He has a nice defined face. The, it's no white piping, so those those eyes are painted. There's a lot of nice detailing down the side. Um, along the front. Uh, it's a very nice sculpt. Uh, but then again, given this guy is quite expensive, it, it kind of expected to be detailed, but nevertheless, it is nice when they do actually when they do actually conform to expectation. So yeah, these bits here, while we're here, uh, do just pop off. Um, I think they do that mainly for the transformation. So yeah, overall, and of course you get the uh, Autobot signature right there. So yeah, Close up, this guy, he does pass the test. Um, you can 
actually make a hammer uh, for this guy. Just take off his thing, watch him topple over. Now the way I haven't actually done this yet, so this will be an experience. But we just take this bit here, pop this on top, and then pop these either side. They might actually go that way around. And there you go. He has a hammer which he can hold, but I'm not going to try and do it because it's an absolute nightmare trying to get him to hold stuff. But okay, so for the transformation, uh, the first things first, we're going to just take out. Pop this open, pop the head back, and we're going to take this little guy out of here. And we're going to put the head in that compartment and close that up. This bit then flops back. Uh, this carriage, this um, compartment here, um, pushes up, and then when you push it up, you can slide it forward. And these little tabs here, if you turn this around, uh, there's some two grooves right in there. And you can make the uh, the front compartment. So he does have some motion right there. Um, all the rest is a little bit of a funky experience, really. So the first thing to do is flip this down. So he's doing what looks to be a bit of a limbo dance. Now then, with the legs, you fold this bit up, and the legs fold in. And do the same again, like that. These then move up. Uh, his legs here flip up. You've got to make sure the knees don't bend. So, yep, they flip up. This does that. These bits do actually connect together. So, you might as well do that early doors. Um, this bit here will fold down and connects right to that gap there, and it kind of keeps it all nicely together, which is a nice little thing to do. Uh, make sure they just push together. These bits here will fold down, and I thought there was a tab that these went into. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, there's a little tab right there, which bit this just clips into, that just keeps it all nice into place. Um, his arms, these bits here, just lift up and fold down, and of course you push these along. Make sure you push them all the way in, uh, and do the same over on this side. These are just going to flip up, and uh, you can turn those around, I think you turn those around. Oh, my mistake. And these will all clip together. So there's some tabs there which clip in. And over this side here, there's some tabs as well. And also there'll be some tabs just inside here where these bits will fold into. And, um, and there we go. Uh, you can also take the bits off here. And there are slots in there to go for the classic Ultra Magnus look. It, it's quite a nice, uh, nice figure, I'll be honest. Um, this bit, it's uh, these bits do fold down. Um, I went and got Dead End because uh, I don't actually have the um, protector bots. Um, but yeah, the the, the cars that uh, are with the Combine of Wars set do fit in. Quite nicely. It, it's quite an actual nice fit. Do you come down? They do, but not as well as I'd hoped. See, you can't, I mean, you can still get the car up there and lift it up, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't go trusting that too much, to be honest. But um, so yeah, if, if any Decepticons want a, a, a nice ride, Ultra Magnus can, uh, can give that to them. The cat looks like a really pissed off cat, though. There's um, a picture on the internet of a cat that's really in a bad mood. 
and that's kind of look that's what it looks like unfortunately but um yeah that that's just one small thing but other than that this is a really nice model uh so that's in comparison to uh the combiner wars dead end um so you can kind of get an idea what he's like this guy he did cost i think it was about 50 pounds so he's not cheap that's something to bear in mind you you're getting what you paid for is the only way is the best way of describing it he's not over and above he he's a very nice figure although if this bit doesn't start clipping in there we go so he is a nice figure but you need to bear in mind that you are paying for this so it, it's not a case of oh he's just simply excelled uh, but that's not a bad thing it's um it's it's sturdy the only real problem i'm having are these bits up here and I'm pretty sure it's because whilst during the transformation, I'm pretty sure I screwed up something down there. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, this, it, it's, it's, it is quite sturdy. It, it's, um, occasionally bits do pop out, but you have to really rough with them. But yeah, overall, the cab doesn't detach, but then again, you know, that's, <laughs> you get no transformation off this other than this bit turning around. So there's no reason for this to, uh, for this to detach anyhow. But um, yes, yeah, so that is Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. If you haven't got one in your set, Ultra Magnus, and you want one, uh, and you see this guy coming up, then I would recommend him. He's certainly a lot of fun. He's he's a nice transformation. He's got uh, he's not too easy, he's not too hard. Uh, there's some quite nice transformation bits in there. So um, and if you do get either the protector bots or anything else that comes out of this size. Uh, he can hold them. So, um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.